In this video, I'll walk you through how I created this dashboard from a blank state. So watch to the end and follow through. If you want to follow through, you can download the Power BI uh, desktop from, um, from the website. I'll put a link to download Power BI in the comment section in the description. Anyway, you, should, you could click on the link, download Power BI, and also put a link to the data set. So you can also download the data set so you can start carrying out analysis and see if you can uh, follow me through, work with me, or create a different dashboard. I'd like to see your creations. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Premise AK, and on this channel, we talk about data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and everything around technological advancement, everything around data. If this is your first time seeing me or coming across my content, click on the subscribe button and on the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post any new video. For the past um, couple of videos, we've been going through Code April series where we have been solving some of the Code April exercises so if you are if this is your first video you know code april was a 30-day challenge python programming challenge for data science data analysis i did sometime in april and we've been solving the challenges for code april and the project two projects were provided at the end of the challenge uh, that's the titanic data set analysis and the airline data set analysis and we've done that using python now we'll be attempting using power bi so a quick disclaimer, this is not meant to be a tutorial video. It means just solving the problem, solving the exercises. If you want to learn more, I have lots of resources on my channel, or you could contact me personally. I give personal training, but not for free. So, but I just thought to mention that this is not a tutorial. This is just me walking through my solutions. If you have questions, I can answer them in the question or you could contact me personally if you want a one-to-one -one -one class or um, tutorial. Okay, let's dive in. Um, so I'll be using my Power BI. So I'll be getting data from Excel. So you just, um, let's see, navigate through from where we have our data. I'll be using the Titanic data set. Um, so you just um, load that up. So let's wait for that to come, come up. So we get to transform the data later, but let's just um, load the data and everything we need to load. Okay, so let's just look at our data. So we have our sex column, we have our age column. Okay, so now let's start changing things. For example, in back we have QS things, we have survive 01. Let's just transform the data. Let's see. It will open a new power query. So I'll just move this, it's on a different screen. Okay, so now, for example, I want to change. Let's start with this. Uh, okay. Um, each column is a number. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Survived. Let's see. Replace values. So if, if I replace value to... Um, so I want to find... Replace zero with um, no. Survived no. Okay, so because it's a number, so before we do this, we might need to change the type. So I want to change the data type to text first. So then I can easily replace. Uh, okay, I can now, okay, that's type. Then I can now replace values with, so if I replace zero with um, no, let's see. And I want to replace one with yes. Okay, that's fine. So the next one will come on and back. I want to replace values. So I want to replace S here. So in this case, I just want to replace everything. Um, so if we go back to, so if we go back to our Python script, um, S was Southampton. So I want to say S was Southampton. Okay, so this is what that was. So I want to replace Q with Queenstown. Q with Queenstown. Um, C with um, Chessburg. Okay, so I think that's it for now. If we need to make any adjustment, we'll come back here. 
so you just come back home and um, so all the steps we've done has been um, added so if i had to refresh this it's always applied this that's good thing about power bi so i can choose to create like let's create an index column so after that transformation let's just go back to let's say edit queries again um let's see let's just come back here edit query so let's because i want to create an index column i discovered that we don't have index column so you can just come here add column let's see so you can just click on index column so let's just create an index column for us so if you just come to add columns you can just click on index and to create an index column okay so let's just save and move on from here okay so let's see okay so we have our index column so now whenever i get uh, my data set the first thing i want to do is to um start just visualizing the the key starts in the data i want to look at okay what's the total number of um rows i have i can just come up click on index mm -hmm. so this is just i don't want the sum in this case i want to count a distinct index so i have um this shows you i have um it's um 91 in my data set cv i could also do the same thing but in this case i just want to see how many males how many females i have let me, so i can let me just rename this okay i can always come back for this but so let's just rename title let's see total number of entries entries total number of entries or total number of, of people okay so our market that's fine okay so i just have that as that so the next thing i want to see can i check how many females how many males so i could just add a um, filter on this visual so in this case i want um female okay so this is a count of female so i could come here also on title turn this off let's just make this um females and i could do the same thing for males uh, in this case would be male so let's do on the filter i could just make it male on this so there are some dax formula you can use for all this but i feel like that's long process so i could just use um males okay so we have more males generally in the data set we could do the same thing using let's check for and uh in this case i want to see survival so the people that survived i want to make filter and yes survival so i could just come also come here and make survival non survivals mm, title so already have our accounts of survivals versus non-survival so something else you can choose to do you might choose to let's see let's get a pie chart or let's see the distribution of um let's do distribution of males and females i could choose to do let's see um sex and index so i just want to have an index column i could just use um okay i can have my sex as yeah so just want to get a distribution so if i have females males so yeah we could start changing color for example um let's see slices i want to make my male I can leave them as blue let's make the female pink so you can start changing the color so you can see that so i can see okay cv uh, let's make um let's make this in this case i want to come back to data but i don't want it to be sex i want this to be um mm, survive survive i just want to have my survival yeah oh, survival by survival mm, non survival i want to make this red yeah i think that could be fine so what else do i okay that looks good so i'm already building dashboards what else do i want to see um i want to see survival of um 
But okay, let's see male and female survival. So let's do a bar chart that shows the um survival. So I want my x axis to be um let's see sex. I can make my index my y axis just to count count distinct. I um, just want to see the distribution. But I want to make my legend survival. So how many males survived? How many females survived? Yes, yeah, survival means so you have more females surviving. We could go on to start customizing the plots shortly, but let's just plot. Let's use um let's check class if we can see anything. Okay, so we have the distribution of survival based on class. Um we can also do survival, let's say survival based on what else can we check for? Um let's see from where where they impact from okay so you see more people surviving uh so we have some missing values so we can um mm, so i don't want to see where i don't have um miss where i don't have data so that can go for now um okay so we have more people traveling from survive so you, without a legend it just shows you the distribution of data you have for the different thing then if you add your legend so let's see um so it's mainly based on um, survival or you could do the same thing cv let's see uh we could do the same thing for so i want to see based on survival i could do based on um uh let's see based on class uh, okay so third class so you have more people with third class generally so with um queenstown you don't have a lot of um, first class and second class tickets so those are some things you start looking at so let's just leave that there um so what i do is just try to get as many chat as i can then based on the question i'm trying to answer i can now look at okay, which chart shows the best um des describes the best um best based on that based on that so i can also make this so we have five two types of pie chart. we have this donor chart so pie chart so i use them interchangeably what else do i need to check whatever data so we could also use um we could do this let's see if based on um let's do this legend based on sex so you see okay so we have our 12 class first class so it's already picking that color okay so that's fine so let's just try to use just different charts so we have an idea of um what they have um i can choose to let's choose to use something else um so let's um, so you can let's just do index and i want to see in back class it just shows you i think the same thing but in a different way so you can choose to keep it so let's just do all the chart then we can see which we want to keep or which we want to use for our final um so i'm just trying to get all the charts across but let's just attempt something like this but using um a stacked bar so v so it's the same thing here so but in this case we want to use a stacked bar so it's showing you the same the same results so what column have we not really done anything with let's see let's just take this out we just do this then we'll just go through to start customizing our plots okay so let's attempt to plot the histogram it's just it's like using the bar charts in this case let's plot our x-axis mm -hmm. and i'll be plotting my index as my y-axis so it is just showing the distribution of age but this is lots of um beans yeah, you can choose to bin create more beans so that you, you have a, a good distribution in this case just come get create a new group um so let's make the bin size five and always change this bin size whatever so in this case so we should have better bean so i don't want um, my age to be that anymore so this would i'll be using this so i have so you can choose to come here and change the bin if you want more beans so for example you want it as three let's see what so would give us how it would look like 
okay so you have this it just depends on what you want to achieve and you can make it survive uh, let's add a legend okay so you can always um copy this here yeah, to have that distribution of survival versus this um for the sake of completeness we could also for the sake of completeness let's also do a line chart line chart generally i used to show distribution but we could try let's create a line chart um let's plot um what, what can we plot if you choose to plot um let's see age let's plot age um as our x-axis and let's plot um fair um so instead of plotting age so, so rather than using the sum of the fair for each of the ages we could just use an average so if you're using sum so you have people for example within let's say 38 this should be like 38 35 as um, having the highest sum in general um so to sum of first but let's just go for average instead so you see the average um for the different ages you could choose to make this for example a legend um so add this or you could choose to let's say add class you see i'm not count of class we don't want that we want that as a legend so you see it counts generally at the third or first class are generally more than second class or thereabout or we could choose to use sex let's see which is sex fair enough let's see that um which we've not done scatter let's see what can we plot as scatter so we could do the same thing cb um let's see but in this case let's just change it to scatter mm. or i want my scatter should be um so i want my average fair should be on my y-axis and this should be on the scatter okay i think this is fine and i can make this survival or no survival let's let's see if we have anything better with survival as a legend 